Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel. I finally got my cobblestone shawl made. So here's a picture of the front and then when I turn around, here's a picture of the back. So I thought it come out really nice. It's a really quick and easy pattern. So I'm going to just take it off my shoulders. So here's the shawl. It's 68 and a half inches wide from the top point across the top to the other point. It's 50 inches down the side and it's 38 and a half inches from the top to the bottom. So it's just a wonderful size shawl. And this shawl, I use the Universal Yarn Cobblestone, and I'll show you that yarn. I just fell in love with it, and I couldn't wait to make a project out of it. So again, this is the Cobblestone Shawl. I'm going to tell you everything you need to make this shawl, and I'm going to walk you step by step on how easy this pattern is to do. So let's get started. So for our project today, I don't have any full skeins left. This is the color I use, but I want to tell you about the yarn. Now this shawl uses about 1400 yards of a number two fine weight yarn. So I'm going to show you the yarn I used and then I'm going to give you a couple alternative yarns on Premier's website that you can also use. This yarn is the Fibra Natural Cobblestone. It's 100% superwash merino wool. It comes in a large 7 ounce, 200 gram, 612 yards, 560 meters. It's classified as a number two fine weight. And it's machine wash cool, tumble dry low. Now this is a little expensive. It's $21.99 a cake. And I use three cakes of yarn. So the project takes two full cakes and a third, and you only use a little bit of the third cake. So this is how much I had left over from the second color where I'd done the stripe. So no matter how you do it, you're going to end up needing three cakes. So you can make this shawl in one color, or you can stripe it the way you've seen it in the beginning of the video. So it's all up to you. So if you want to make it exactly as it's shown, then you need two cakes of the Precious Jewels, color number 102. And then you're going to need one cake of Parakeet, color number 110. So the total cost of this shawl using this yarn is about $66. And I know that's a little expensive, but I just fell in love with this yarn and I just had to make something out of it. Now, this yarn I purchased on Premier's website. You can go to Premier. I'll have a link that'll take you right to the Fiber Natural Cobblestone. And you can see all the different colors available. Again, you need 1,400 yards. So you need either three of the same color or two of one color and one of a different color for your stripes. So now let me tell you about a couple alternatives if you want a more inexpensive way to make this shawl. Now on Premier's website, they still have some of the Uptown Baby Sport. So let me tell you about this yarn. This is a wonderful price on this yarn. It's an anti-pilling, which means it's not going to get fuzz balls. And every time you wash it, it looks new time after time. No pilling. It comes in a 3.5 ounce, 100 gram, 361 yards, 330 meters. It's classified as a number two fine weight yarn. And it is machine wash gentle, tumble dry. Now this yarn is only $1.99 a skein. And I believe they have about 19 colors still available in this yarn. This is a true value. So to make the shawl out of the Uptown Baby Sport, now they're all solid colors in the Uptown Baby Sport, but still beautiful colorways. You need four skeins, which would be about 1,444 yards. The cost would be $1.99 a skein. You would need four skeins, and it would only cost you $7.96 to make this shawl. Now the next alternative is Premier's Cotton Fair. If you like natural fibers and you would prefer a cotton shawl, then the Cotton Fair comes in a 317 yard ball. You would need five skeins or five balls and that would give you 1584 yards. 
It's $5.99 a cake or ball, and you would need five balls, so it would cost you $29.95 if you wanted to make a cotton shawl. So there is a couple alternatives if you didn't want to buy a real expensive yarn. Premier still has beautiful two-weight yarns on their website. Just look under two fine weight yarn and look for an alternative and make sure you get at least 1,400 yards. So again, if you want to make the shawl exactly as you see it in the beginning of the video, you need two cakes of color number 102 Precious Jewels and one cake of color 110 Parakeet. You're also going to need a size G6 or 4 millimeter hook. Now, I do have two other colorways available in the Fiber Natural Cobblestone. I do think I forgot to mention this colorway here, so let me push these out of the way. This is a beautiful color meadow. This is color 106. You're going to see beautiful greens. The next colorway I have in my studio is Dragon's Breath color 101. Isn't that pretty? And remember, you can make your shawl using all the same color or pick another color and break it up with stripes like I did. So that is a beautiful colorway. And if you love more contemporary colors, look at this one with that black and white. This is color 108 Tuxedo. So those are just a couple of the colorways available. And again, I'll put a link to the Uptown Baby Sport, to the Cotton Fair, and to the Cobblestone in the description box underneath the video. They are affiliate links. I am an affiliate of Premier. I love their yarns, and I use their yarns in a lot of my projects. So let's go ahead and let's get our shawl started. To begin our project today, I have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. And I'm starting with the Precious Jewels. This is color number 102. So for this pattern, I'm going to begin and I'm going to work the first several rows with you. I'm going to show you the repeat pattern and then you can make your shawl in whichever color combination you wish. If you want to make it in a solid color, if you want to stripe it, whatever you want to do. So let's go ahead and begin and we're going to chain four. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the loop. That's one, two, three and four. We're going to skip the first three chains. Now it may be hard to see because it's a multicolored yarn and you're going to insert your hook into the fourth chain from hook and you're going to slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. And this just creates the circle that we're going to use to start our pattern. We're going to begin and we're going to chain three. One, two, Three. Our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. We're going to work three double crochet right into the center of the ring and you can just lay your yarn right on the outside and crochet right over top of it. Yarn over, insert into the center of the ring and work three double crochets. Pull through that center circle, you have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a double crochet. Now all my crochet tutorials are filmed using USA crochet terms. So if you're from the UK or a different country, you'll have to convert them into your country's terms. So we need to make two more double crochet back inside the center of that ring. One, and two. So when you look at your work, you're going to have your beginning chain three and then three double crochet. You're going to chain two and this is what I call the center point of your shawl. You're going to work four more double crochet into the center of that same ring. Yarn over the hook, insert into the center of the ring, work four double crochets. One, two, three, and 
four. And sometimes it's just a little bit hard to hold on to that when you're first beginning. So again, when you look at your work for row one, you'll have your beginning chain three, which counts as the first double crochet, then three double crochet, a chain two, and four double crochet all in the center of your ring. So row one is finished, and now we're ready to do row two. For row two, we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and you're going to turn your work. Our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. Now we're going to work two more double crochet into the top of this very first stitch right at the base of the chain three. Yarn over the hook, insert into that very first stitch under the top two loops, work two double crochets. One, yarn over, insert back into that same stitch, work your second double crochet. So when you look at your work, you'll have your beginning chain three and two double crochet all into that first stitch. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across until you get to your chain two center point. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're at our chain two center point. So we're going to work two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet into this chain two center point. And you can see it's right into the center of our shawl. Yarn over the hook, insert into that chain two space, work two double crochets, one, and two. You're going to chain two, one, two, and now we're going to work two more double crochet back into that same chain two center point. Yarn over the hook, insert into that center chain two space, work two double crochet, one, and two. Now I noticed when I was filming there's a knot here so I'm just going to clip this off. Now this is just a little sample I'm making. It's not the actual shawl. I already have the shawl almost finished. So now I'm going to work one double crochet in each stitch across until I get to my ending turning chain right here. So double crochet into the next stitch Double crochet into the next stitch. And then double crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to see that we're back to our turning chain right here. So we're going to end the row by working three double crochet into this chain space right at the top left of our last stitch. So when you go up to the top of the chain, the turning chain, you're going to work three double crochet right into the top chain. One, yarn over, insert into that same chain space, work your second double crochet, and then yarn over, insert back into that same chain, and work your third double crochet. So again, when you look at your work, you'll have your beginning chain three and two double crochet into that first stitch, one double crochet in each stitch up to the chain two space, and then two double crochet, a chain two, two double crochet in your center point at the chain two space, and then one double crochet in each stitch down the other side until you get to your turning chain and you end with three double crochet in your turning chain. So now we're ready to begin row three. For row three we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to turn your work. 
Your beginning chain three counts as your first double crochet. We're going to work one double crochet into that first stitch. So if you're not sure, just pull it with your fingers between the first and second stitch. We're working one double crochet at the base of the chain three right into the top of that first stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert into the top of that first stitch, work one double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across until we come to our chain two center point. Double crochet into the next stitch and we're going into the top two loops, work your double crochet. And then work one double crochet in each stitch across to your center point. So I'm just going to work my stitches across And again, we're working one double crochet in each stitch. Now I'm over at my center chain two point. We're going to work two double crochet into that chain two space. One, and two. You're going to chain two. Now we're going to work two more double crochet back into that same center point. One, and two. And when you look at your work, as you're looking, the bottom will be straight across, and then you'll have your two sides going up to the center point. So now we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch down the side until you get to your turning chain. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into your next stitch. And now I'm just going to work one double crochet in each stitch down to my turning chain. So I'm over at my turning chain, and if you're new to crocheting, you may want to use stitch markers because the one area that new crocheters have trouble with is the beginning and ending of a row. So when you're over here, you're going to see your stitch, but you still have your turning chain that you have to work into. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the very next stitch or chain on the left side of that last stitch, or you can count up one, two, three to the top of that turning chain, and we're going to work two double crochet into that same chain. Yarn over the hook, insert into the top of that turning chain, and work two double crochets. One and two. And when you look at your work, if you're not sure, then just pull those stitches apart and you can see you have two stitches in that last stitch. And that's how easy it is to make this shawl. So to continue working on your shawl, you're going to repeat row two and row three over and over until you get your shawl to the length or width you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to repeat row two and row three with you one more time. So to begin, we're going to repeat row two. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to turn your work. We're going to work two double crochet right at the base of the chain three into the first stitch. So if you're not sure, use your fingers, pull those stitches apart, and you'll see this is the top of your first stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert under the top two loops of the first stitch, work two double crochets. One. 
and two. And when you look at your work, you're going to have your beginning chain three and two double crochet all into that first stitch. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across until we get to our center chain two space. Double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one double crochet across until you get to your next chain two space. And again, we're working one double crochet in each stitch. So I'm over at my center chain two space and we're going to work two double crochet into that chain two space. One and two. You're going to chain two. Now we're going to work two double crochet back into that chain two center point. One and two. So again, when you look at your work, you're going to have two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet all in to that chain two center point. And then we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch down to our ending turning chain. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch and then continue and work one double crochet in each stitch down to your ending turning chain. So I'm almost to the end. So now I'm over at my turning chain and we're just going to work three double crochet right into the top of that turning chain. Yarn over the hook, insert into the top chain, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. And when you look at your work, you'll see all three stitches are in the top of that ending turning chain. So now we're going to go ahead and repeat row three, but we're actually on row five. So again, we're repeating row two and three for the pattern. So let's go ahead and repeat row three again. You're going to chain three, and you're going to turn your work you're going to work one double crochet into the top of the first stitch at the base of the beginning chain three. Yarn over, insert into the top of that stitch, and work one double crochet. So when you look at your work, you'll have your beginning chain three and one double crochet into that first stitch. Now we're going to just work one double crochet in each stitch across until we get to our center chain two space. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And then continue and work one double crochet in each stitch 
up the side of your shawl until you get to the center chain two space. Again, we're working one double crochet in each stitch going under the top two loops. And we're working up to our center chain two space. So I have one stitch to go. And now I'm at my center chain two space right in the center top point of our shawl. And we're going to work two double crochet into that chain two space. One. And two. We're going to chain two. And then we're going to work two double crochet back into that same chain two space. One. and two. So when you look at your work, you're going to have two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet into the chain two center point. So now all we're going to do is work one double crochet in each stitch down to our turning chain. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch going under the top two loops and then continue working one double crochet in each stitch down the side until you get to your turning chain. So I'm almost to my turning chain. A few stitches to go. And this is where it really helps if you're new to use stitch markers. So now I'm over at my turning chain and we're going to work two double crochet into the top of the turning chain. Yarn over the hook, insert into that top chain, work two double crochets. One, and two. And that is the end of the repeat. So again, to work on your project, you're going to repeat rows two and three over and over until you get your shawl to the size you want. So if you want to make your shawl in the same exact color way, in the same spot that I changed colors, then get a piece of paper and pencil and write this down. Again, you're repeating rows two and three for the pattern. I worked 15 rows in the blue of the Precious Jewels I fastened off and then I worked two rows of the parakeet. And again, I repeated rows two and three. And then I worked 10 rows of the precious jewels in that blue. I fastened off and I worked two rows of the parakeet. And then you're going to do 10 rows of the precious jewels in the blue, two rows of the parakeet, 10 rows of the precious jewel, two rows of the parakeet, and then I ended with 10 rows of the precious jewels in this beautiful blue color. Now when you finish the last 10 rows, 
you're going to be at the end of row 63. So again, you can make this in one solid color, you can stripe it, whatever you want to do. So just continue and work rows 2 and 3 until you have a total of 63 rows. Once you get your 63 rows done, I'm going to turn my shawl. So here is the end of row 63. I just worked over to that corner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crochet across this long edge, which is the actual top of the shawl. Now this is stuck on my table. It's too long to get in my viewfinder. But we're just going to crochet across this long edge. So row 63 is actually part of the border. So we're just going to finish off with double crochets across this long edge because if you don't then sometimes this tends to roll. You can see it wants to roll back already. So if you have it on then the edges will roll. So I just like to put just one row of double crochet across. So grab your hook and let's begin crocheting across the long edge of our shawl. So I'm over at the end of row 63. I just worked down the last side of my shawl. And what we're going to do is just crochet across that really wide length, that straight edge across the top of the shawl. What we want to do is we want to chain two. And this is going to form our corner and make the transition from the side of the shawl across that long length. So now we're going to skip this first row end stitch where your double crochet is and we want to go into this next row end stitch. We're going to work three double crochet and we're going underneath and around that stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert underneath that row end stitch and work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now we're going to work two double crochet into this next row end stitch. So what you want to do is just follow those stitches down and you're going to see it's a pretty long stitch and we're just going underneath the stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next row end stitch, work two double crochets. One, yarn over, insert back into that same row end stitch, work your second double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. We're going to work three double crochet into the next row end stitch and two double crochet into the next. And we're going to repeat that across to the next corner. Yarn over the hook, insert underneath the next row end stitch, work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now we're going to work two double crochet underneath and around the next row end stitch. One and two. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next row end stitch, work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then two double crochet into the next row and stitch. One, and two. I'll show you one more time. You're going to yarn over the hook, insert into the next row and stitch, and work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then you're going to work two double crochet into the next row and stitch. Just separate those stitches and work two double crochets. One, and two. And that is the end of the repeat. And you can see how your pattern is forming. Three double crochet into the next stitch, two into the next, three into the next stitch, 
and two into the next. You're going to repeat that across to your next corner. So when you work across your shawl, you're going to come to your center circle. Count your center circle as a row end stitch and just continue working the pattern across. I'll meet you at the next corner. I just worked across that long edge of our shawl across the top of the shawl. And when you get over to the corner, you're going to have three double crochet into the next to the last row end stitch. So it all depends on how you look at your work. Now this is a row end stitch, but this is the beginning of row 63, where we started and done 63, and then we just continued working around the top of the shawl. So if you worked in this last row end stitch, rip your stitches back out and you want to leave this open. You only work until right below the base of that chain three into this row end stitch. So to end this row, we're going to chain two and then we're going to join in the top of that beginning chain three of row 63. Count up one, two, three, insert into the top of that chain, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. So now I am done with my blue color, the Precious Jewel, and I'm just going to fasten off. Again, when I fasten off, I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in all my ends that I have, and then I'll be back and I'll show you the finished shawl. So my shawl is finished. This is what the final shawl looks like. This is the front, and when you turn around, this is the back. Again, it's a very generous size, and you can make this shawl to fit any size. You can just get started, make it to the size you prefer, or make it to the size I made mine. Now our shawl measures 68 and a half inches wide point to point, 50 inches down the sides, and 38 and a half inches from top to bottom. So I'm just going to wrap my shawl around me. I want to thank everybody for stopping by today and having some fun crocheting this shawl. If you enjoyed today's crochet tutorial, please hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. When you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every time I post a video. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting. Bye everyone!